First on CBS 4 News, we are tracking the tropics. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett. Marco, now a hurricane in the Gulf, but our eyes are also set on a strengthening Laura near the east coast of Cuba. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has the latest. Craig, what can you tell us? Carly, despite the fact that uh, the system went right over Hispaniola here, which is usually a big disruptor, it has been strengthening this afternoon. Winds now at 60 miles an hour. It's moving quickly, though, west-northwest at 21 miles an hour. Now, here are the latest warnings. They extend all over Cuba. The Keys, especially middle and lower Keys, still under a tropical storm watch. Warnings have now been extended south to the Cayman Islands there because storm has gone much farther south. Here's the future track in the threat cone. Remember, the threat cone shows the yellow area. This is the area of the tropical storm conditions. The uh, uncertainty cone, the old cone right here, that is the outline of where the center is expected to be. It's quite possible now. Once it gets uh, back over here, it's in the northern Caribbean Sea here for maybe 12 to 18 hours, so it could be a strengthening tropical storm as it moves along the south coast of Cuba there. That's the 2 p.m. Monday time position. After that, that is early Tuesday morning here. That's the closest approach to South Florida. You can see the tropical storm conditions just brush the keys there. Then after that, it's wide open in the Gulf, forecast to intensify uh, possibly a Category 2 hurricane here sometime on Wednesday or Wednesday night in the northwest Gulf of Mexico. We're already starting to see the outer influence of it there. Some bands of showers and thunderstorms starting to come our way. Here's Marco, kind of a smaller storm here. It's had some wind shear on it. Here is Laura, and it, it has a big, big storm envelope. Big round storm envelope here. And it's just, we really need to be thankful it is, took that track to the south. Remember, we were talking, is it going to go north of Puerto Rico or south of Puerto Rico? It basically went just south of Puerto Rico, which kept it along and just south of Hispaniola there. If this was 150 miles to the north, tonight we would be looking at a strengthening hurricane headed towards South Florida, and we'd be really, really uh, concerned. That is not the case. It is south of us. It is going to stay south of us. This afternoon, hurricane hunters out there investigating. They found the center uh, located right about there, just to the southeast of Guantanamo, and found winds of about 64 miles an hour, so the intensity estimate set at 60 miles an hour. Here is the position it will be in 24 hours if it doesn't change its current track. Here are the forecast models, so it's forecast to slowly move a little more to the northwest, still well south of us. There we are, time frame into the Wednesday night, Thursday. So here we go into time here. This is when we expect the worst of the conditions, the tropical storm watch, middle and lower keys. Here's the clock up here. That's 5 p.m. tomorrow, and the tropical storm conditions just start to get into the lower keys, 8 p.m., 11 p.m., and then 2 a.m. To, uh, tomorrow night, 5 a.m., and then after that, it's pulling out. So late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow night is when the worst weather brushes South Florida. For the lower and middle keys, tropical storm conditions, uh, quite possible winds of 30 to 45 miles an hour with gusts 60. Upper keys, frequent squalls, gusts over 45 miles an hour for Miami-Dade and Broward. Fairly windy, gust of 45 miles an hour for tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Dave Warren's also tracking Marco. He'll have more on that in our local forecast coming up.